Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 938, the category Brainy Tuesday number 63. Brainy Tuesday is a 20 question trivia quiz with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end of the video if you need to stick around for that. All of the questions come from various categories, but they are just a little bit more difficult than our standard pub quiz trivia. So, good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. In 1984, a much dimmer companion star was discovered for the red dwarf star Van Biesbrock 8. This star was neither so massive nor bright, but gave off infrared radiation. It also wasn't totally cold, so it couldn't be a black dwarf. What name was given to this other kind of dwarf star? If it's not a red dwarf and it's not a black dwarf, it is a brown dwarf. Question number two. Originally, it was the first part of the Tonka, a five-line poem often written by two people as a literary game. But, poems made from the first three lines became popular as a separate form, with the first and third lines containing five syllables and the second containing seven syllables. In what style of poem? The first part of a tonka is now referred to as a haiku. Question three. Johnny Latner, Leon Hart, Johnny Lujak, Angelo Bertelli, John Huerta, Tim Brown, and Paul Hornung are the seven Heisman Trophy winners at what college football powerhouse that is the home of the Fighting Irish? The Fighting Irish are from the University of Notre Dame. Question number four. It first appeared in 1976 in southern Sudan, then later that year in northern Zaire. What is the name of this virus which, in 1987, emerged in a group of monkeys in a test lab near Washington, D.C., an event documented in the Richard Preston bestseller, The Hot Zone? It's not monkeypox. The answer is the Ebola virus. Question number five. Derived from the Latin word for mother, what word can describe an engraved die, a mass in which something is embedded, or a rectangular array of mathematical elements? The word that we're looking for is a matrix. Question number six. Since the Earth bulges near the equator, to reach the farthest point on Earth's surface from its center, you'd have to travel to the top of Mount Chimborazo, which lies in what mountainous South American country, owner of the Galapagos, with its capital at Quito? That country is Ecuador. Question number seven. Soda cans are pressurized to keep the carbonation in the liquid. This is one physical manifestation of a law that states that the solubility of a gas in a liquid is proportional to pressure. What is the name of this law in chemistry? That law is Henry's Law. Question number eight. Polyplicophora, gastropoda, bivalva, and cephalopoda are classes within this phylum, the members of which are soft bodies but are often covered by a calcified shell. What is the name of this delicious phylum that contains oysters, clams, calamari, and escargot?
This phylum is mollusca or mollusks. Question number nine. Many of them were born from a union between Ixion and a cloud. By and large, most were wild and uncivilized with a few exceptions. What group was this, notorious for their behavior at the wedding of Pyrithuis the Lapith, a race of half men, half horse? The answer is centaurs. Question number 10. Their name comes from the Russian for white. One is a type of sturgeon, the largest freshwater fish. The other is a white whale closely related to the narwhal. What is the shared name? The name shared by both of those animals is beluga. Question number 11. This type of writing may be the oldest in the world, with examples dating back to around 3000 BC. Among the languages which used variants of this writing style were Ugaritic, Akkadian, and Sumerian. What is the name of this writing technique which takes its name from the Latin for wedge-shaped? The answer is cuneiform. Question number 12. Its battle flag consisted of a red field with blue diagonal crossbars which held 13 white stars. Even though the country no longer exists, the use of this flag still stirs controversy even today. What is the name of the short-lived country whose armies used this flag? That country was called the Confederate States of America. Question 13. In organic chemistry, this is the name that describes any hydrocarbon that has single bonds between each of the carbon atoms. Some common examples of this type of compound are propane and octane. What is the name for this type of hydrocarbon? The answer is alkane. Question number 14. Perihelion is the point at which the sun is closest to the earth and occurs shortly after New Year's Day. When the sun is farthest from the earth in early July, it is called what? When it is furthest away from the earth, it is called aphelion. Question 15. After being wounded as a volunteer in the Spanish Civil War, he wrote homage to Catalonia, but attained lasting success with 1943's Animal Farm and his last work, The Apocalyptic 1984. What is the name of this English author? The answer is George Orwell. Question 16. Which ancient Greek scholar from Samos hypothesized the music of the spheres and theorized that the sum of the squares of the sides of a right triangle equals the square of the hypotenuse? That Greek scholar was Pythagoras. Question number 17. This city in the Hejah is located 220 miles north of Mecca, originally called Yathrib 
It contains the tomb of Muhammad and is one of the holiest cities of Islam. What is the name of this city to which Muhammad fled in 622 in the Hegira? The answer is Medina. Question 18. It is a non-metric unit equivalent to 746 watts and is the power needed to lift 500 pounds one foot in one second or to lift 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute? What is the name for this unit of measurement? The measurement we're looking for is horsepower. Question 19. It is a New Testament term from the Greek for the gifts of the Holy Spirit imparted to apostles, prophets, and healers. What is this term which has come to mean magnetic personal qualities? The answer is charisma. And question 20. Composed of 100 cantos written in terza rima, it begins with the poet lost in the wood of error on a good Friday. It then follows the poet's travels through the afterlife, led by Virgil and Beatrice. What is the title of this epic poem by Dante Alighieri? That epic poem is called The Divine Comedy. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Check back tomorrow, hopefully, for another new episode. Tomorrow morning, the movers come and we start packing up. Well, the house is already pretty much packed up. So I'm not sure how long it'll take the movers to get everything into the truck and gone. But after that, I'm officially, officially deskless, gearless, equipmentless, running straight off a laptop and a microphone. So bear with me over the next week or so as we pump out these episodes. It'll be much better when I'm back in America, setting up in the new spot. And uh, yeah, so... Thank you to everybody who has already entered into the Final 50 Challenge. That will make these quizzes a lot easier as we go from episode 950 to 1000. If you'd like to get in to the Final 50 Challenge, which is where you can win $500 in a drawing, it's not a competition, it's not a quality or a merit-based competition. You can enter a 25-question trivia quiz. It can be as good or as bad as you want about any topics that you want, any questions that you want. You will get one number between 1 and 50, and then at our live episode in September, I'm going to draw that number, or you know, I'll draw a number, and if it's yours, you'll win $500. If that sounds like something you're interested in, check out the link at the end of this video or in the description of this video below and get entered as soon as possible. All right, here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today's trivia. By the process of hydrolysis, the more complex disaccharide sucrose can be reduced when metabolized into what two simpler sugars? Sucrose can be reduced when metabolized into what two simpler sugars? The answer is glucose and fructose. And that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode. Check back tomorrow. And like I said, if it doesn't show up tomorrow, please be patient. I'll get it up as soon as possible.